Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an overview on four XFX power supplies. This is the XFX Core Edition Pro line of power supplies. We have four of them here, a 550 watt, 650 watt, 750 watt, and 850 watt. All four of these power supplies are 80 plus bronze certified and all four of them are based on a single rail design. Here's a close up look at the retail box for our 550 watt version of the power supply and up here in the top right we can see a true wattage guarantee and that's X FX stating that you're purchasing a 550 watt power supply and that they're actually going to be able to provide 550 watts of power for your system. Uh, different power supplies are designed in different ways and XFX's easy rail technology is indicating that they're using a single rail for all of your wattage on the power supply. Uh, we'll have more on that in just a second but while we're up here I should mention that this is Radeon Crossfire Ready for those of you who are going with a uh, multiple card GPU solution for your build. They are both Radeon Crossfire Ready and SLI Ready. Uh, here is a diagram just giving you a better idea of why single rail is better than multiple rail. Uh, basically if you have multiple rails your wattage is split up so depending on how you put the load on the individual rails you might put too much wattage on a single rail and you might not be able to get the full wattage of that power supply. Versus a single rail, everything's on the same rail, and as long as you're not putting too much wattage on the power supply, you'll be good to go. Uh, of course, these are 80 plus bronze certified for additional efficiency. And then finally here on the back, more easy rail technology information, but this right here indicates you get a five year warranty, and that's for all four of these power supplies, and you also get XFX's five star support. So here we have all four power supplies. I'm gonna go over the accessories and connectors for each one. Uh, you get a full color manual. That's the manual for the 450 and 550 watt versions. And we also have another one for the 650, 750, and 850 watt versions. Some information in here for those of you looking for a high quality power supply. Uh, first of all, continuous power um, wattage and wattage testing for OCZ. They're showing, telling you that they test at 40 degrees Celsius, not 25 degrees Celsius. So that's a little bit more real world working conditions and to make sure that the power supply will provide stable power even at higher temperatures. Also clean power because the power from your AC outlet is dirty and has voltage spikes, fluctuations, and uh, these power supplies are designed to give you voltage regulation with minimum, minimal AC ripple, giving you safer, cleaner power. Also 80 plus bronze, the bronze certification from 80 plus indicates that at 50% load, you get 85% power efficiency. Also at 20% and 100% load, you get 82% power efficiency. And that's what these power supplies must meet in order to get that 80 plus bronze logo. Also, they have extreme heat testing capacitors and automatic protection center sensors to prevent stuff like uh, power over power protection, over voltage protection, short, cir short circuit protection. Uh, here are some warning and safety notices. Here are some power supply removal, installation, and troubleshooting guides. Uh, here are some notes about the five-year warranty and some details on the warranty. Here are your detailed spec sheets uh, for your power supplies. This again is for the 450 and 550 watt editions. And finally we have your DC power connector detailed schematics for the floppy, peripheral, serial ATA, main power, ATX, EPS, and PCI Express connectors. I'm going to just show you each power supply and all the cables and stuff that comes with it. So first off, of course, you get an AC power plug. Uh, that is 125 volt 10 amp for the 550, 650, and 750, and you get a heavier duty 13 amp cable for the 850 watt version. Apart from the power supply itself, you also get one Molex to double floppy connector if you're using a floppy drive or a device that uses a floppy drive connector. And of course you get four mounting screws to mount the power supply to your case. And that's all that comes in the box. Here's a look at the power supply itself. We have labeling on the side and on the top, so no matter how you orient it in your case, you'll be able to see it's an XFX power supply as well as your wattage. Here on the top we have the details for the uh, 550 watt version. We can see we have a uh, 24, amp, 24 amps on the 5 volt rail, rail, 44 amps on the 12 volt rail for 528 total watts. Uh, also, there's a, the back, you see we have logos on all three sides. On the top we can see the included 140 millimeter fan. and. Finally, here we have our grip of cables. 
which I will unbundle here for you so we can take a look at what cables connectors are included. That is if I can remove this little thing here. There we go. All right, so cable connectors. First off, there is your 24 pin motherboard main power connector. And this does have a break off bit on one end for your four extra, cape, four extra, shoot, four extra uh, pins. So you can use it on an older 20 pin motherboard as well. This is a PCI Express power connector. Here's another PCI Express, that's a six plus two. And that will do it for PCI Express connectors. Uh, so you do have two of those available for your higher wattage video cards. Here's your EPS or ATX 4 plus 4 pin connector for 4 pins for ATX, 8 pins for EPS. Here are your peripheral connectors. So we have 1, 2, 3 serial ATA plugs, 4, 5, 6 serial ATA plugs, uh, 7, 8, 9 serial ATA plugs. And we also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Molex plugs uh, for your Molex connected peripherals. Also here is a, another 8 pin uh, EPS power plug. So you can use the 4 plus 4 that you saw me show earlier or you can use that 8 pin plug all in one. Moving right along to our higher wattage units, uh, for our 650 watt and 750 watt the cabling and plugs that are available are actually exactly the same. So apart from the wattage these devices, uh, these power supplies are identical. Uh, for our 650, we have 53 amps on the 12 volt rail for 636 watts total. Uh, and I am going to leave all these cables bundled up and show you the cables for the 750 right here. Uh, 750 has 62 amps on the 12 volt rail for 744 watts total. And uh, let's take a look at our cables. I have wrangled them to some degree. Here's our 24 pin uh, motherboard power connector. Again, it's 20 plus 4, so you can break that off if you have an older. Uh, motherboard. This is a 4 or 8 pin, 4 pin for ATX, 8 pin for EPS, supplemental CPU power connector. Those are your main motherboard connectors there. Uh, next up is our PCI Express plugs. We have four of these total. Two of them are straight 6 pin plugs and two of them are 6 plus 2 pin plugs. So for your uh, Crossfire or SLI needs you have four of those plugs available. Next up we have some Molex plugs for your older Molex devices. Uh, we have a total of seven Molex uh, plugs available, and then we have one floppy plug available right there. Finally, for our PCI Express connectors, which are hiding right over here, let me get them. We have eight total, so two strands of PCI Express. I'm sorry, serial ATA power connectors, uh, eight total serial ATA power connectors, four on each of these strands. And again, uh, cabling for the 750 watt and 650 are exactly the same. So those are the plugs available on those. Finally, let's move on to our highest wattage unit. That is the 850 watt version we have here. You do get a 13 amp, a little more heavier duty AC power cable with this device. Uh, you have 70 amps on the 12 volt rail for 840 watts total. And once again, you have your standard motherboard power connector, 20 plus 4 pins there. You have a 4 or 8 pin ATX or EPS supplemental CPU power connector there. You have, again, the same PCI Express plugs here, uh, two 6 pins and two 6 plus 2 pins for those total. Uh, you do have your Molex plugs right over here. Again, seven of these Molex plugs on two strands, uh, four on one, three on the other, and one floppy connector. And then finally, you get some extra serial ATA connectors, power connectors here. Uh, you actually have four plus four plus three. Uh, so you have, uh, there's 11. You have 11 serial ATA power plugs total. Uh, so you have plenty of connectivity for your serial ATA devices. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the XFX Core Edition Pro Power Supplies, 550 watt, 650 watt, 750 watt, and 850 watt. My name is Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.